So in the previous video we learned how to log in using access and refresh tokens. In this uh, video we will do the same but uh, this time the access token won't be in an HTTP only cookie. We will use the access token via a bearer token in the headers and also we will uh, revoke the cookies differently instead of just removing them. Uh, removing them is fine but is not very secure and uh, now we will revoke them also in the database. So let's get started. The first change is the access token and uh, I will rename this to just token here and uh, I will remove uh, the token as a cookie and the token I will return it directly here. Token. So if we use it now on Postman, uh, first uh, let's uh, log out so I can remove uh, all the cookies. And if we log in now, we'll get uh, the token in the response, but the refresh token will be still in uh, the cookies. So now let's use uh, this uh, token to get the authenticated user because currently we will not uh, get it because uh, we need to add the bearer token in the headers like this. So authorization, bearer and the token will be this token. Like this and uh, it won't work. We need to add the code in the authenticated user. Here uh, instead of uh, getting the access token via the cookies we have to get it via request.header authorization and uh, for this uh, we need uh, also to split it because uh, we will get uh, the bearer token as it is with bearer space and the token so we need to split the bearer with uh, the token using the split uh, uh, function question mark here so sometimes is not set so this is good to have it here and we will split it by space and uh, we will get two uh, two array values. The first one is bear which we don't need it and the second one is the value that we need. So to get the second one is uh, putting here an array and getting the second value. So it starts from zero, the second value is one and that should be it. So what is the error here? Uh, or empty string in case uh, that we have uh, an error. So that error is because uh, uh, there is a chance that it might be undefined. And uh, that should be it. Uh, if we use it right now, we will get unauthenticated because uh, probably the token expired. So let's uh, get it fast. So I'll copy this, I'll put it immediately here because it will expire in 30 seconds and we got the authenticated user. So it is working as it should. Uh, so we added this uh, functionality. Now uh, let's uh, do the same for the refresh because when we use the refresh token, this is correct. Uh, the access token uh, is stored in a cookie here, but uh, we will remove the cookie I will name this just token and the response will return the token now. Like this. So uh, if I refresh now, I will send uh, a post request to the refresh. We will get the token which we will use it immediately now. And we still get the authenticated user. So. Now we are using the access token uh, via the bearer method. That was the first change. Now the second change is uh, when we log out. Now we will not remove uh, the access token. We will remove the refresh token, but uh, we will also add a new table in the database. So now I will create a new entity. I'll call it token entity. And uh, this entity, I'll export a class token. This uh, will be an entity. 
we need to import it from type ORM and the values for this entity will be the ID as a number which will be a primary generated column and uh, I'll add an exclamation point here we need uh, the user ID this is just a column and now I will copy this uh, two more times three more times uh, this value is a token this is uh, the created add column and this is expired add and uh, for the created that I will change this decorator to just uh, uh, created de date column because uh, with this uh, type ORM will m automatically add this column we don't need to assign it so Another thing that I forgot is uh, this is a string here and this is a date and this is also a date. So that's it. We finished uh, this and uh, we should have a new table in the database with all these uh, columns. So it is correct. Now let's uh, create this token. So we will create this token when we log in. Uh, first here I will move down this access token and uh, in between I will add uh, this uh, code so we will await get repository of token and we will save it so the values are the user ID which is user ID the token which is our refresh token uh, the created that but I will not add created that because as I said it will be automatically added even if we don't add it so we need the expired at column expired at which is equal to a new date and uh, to set the expired that in seven days we have to use it like this so expired that set date expire that get date plus seven so this is the way uh, to set a date seven days in the future and here I will add the expired at date and that should be it so I add the uh, all the values that are needed and now when I log in nothing will change here but uh, we will create a new record in the database how we will use this record so we will use it like this let's go to the refresh token and here we get the refresh token we validate it which is correct uh, and we create uh, a new access token here in between we have to uh, also check if this refresh token exists in the database so we will get uh, the uh, db token uh, i don't know how to name it is equal to await get repository of token we will find one where the user id is equal to payload.id here and also we have to check the expiry the expired that column so the expired that column needs to be more than equal we need to import it from type ORM then today's date so date like this so uh, don't forget to import more than we equal here on top so this is a uh, import and uh, this means that we have to get uh, the refresh token for this user which hasn't expired yet so if this expired we will return unauthenticated so I will make the condition here if the DB token is not set then we will return the same message so this is another layer of protection here which means uh, that uh, if we expire this token which we will do it in the logout we will remove the refresh token 
but we also need to remove it uh, in the database so let's get it here and uh, we will get first the refresh token and uh, we will call await get repository of token delete where the token is equal to this refresh token so we will remove all the values from that refresh token and we will remove it also from the cookies now our app is more secure let's imagine a scenario where we remove the cookie but uh, another user gets our cookie uh, it still wouldn't uh, refresh the token because it will check also the database if it has that value if it doesn't find it in the database then uh, we will still return unauthenticated so that should be it we added more layers of security in uh, the database and also we added two ways of uh, getting the access and refresh tokens now what is left is uh, to add the front end